Cape Townian footballers traditionally have a tough time adjusting to the pace of Jorzy. But this wasn't the case when it came to Wayne Aronser. When he joined Sundowns at the beginning of the season, he did so with fellow Santos teammate Elisa Rogers. This helped him adjust. I knew it was a big club and coming here to perform was always a challenge. At a big club you need to show yourself your worth and everything. And I think I adjusted quite, quite well. When we came here we knew no one. And him coming from the same team where I came from, obviously they helped me a lot because at first we lived together and we settled in together. We just both had to help each other along here yeah, and his wife is here, my wife is here and now we're both on our own now again. At Santos, Arons established himself as one of the most respected defenders in the PSL. This is due to his experience and key understanding of his role at the back. The key thing is, I think, is about you need to read the game as well. You need to know where your opponent is and also you need to be good at defending. Also know how to pass from the back. We build up the play from the back and we can control everything what's happening. We tell the people where to go left or right and the play starts from us basically, so that's what I like. Aronser wasn't always a defender. His formative years at Ken Park United saw him controlling play from the midfield. I've played in the midfield as well, but it was more in the junior rankings. And I played a holding midfield in the Vodacom League. I was basically a defensive midfielder, so from there I just went to the back and I'm still there now. Wayne spent six years at Santos. This gives him a good understanding of how Cape Town teams play. Yeah, my favorite game was against Ajax, I think. In the game, I got man of the match, and it was a team from Cape Town, and I knew the players there, and it's always good to play a team from Cape Town, and also because they're from back home. And I think I played well in that game, and also the team played well, and we ended up winning 3-1. Rio's favorite post-match recovery pastime is an ice bath, which is not as popular with his fellow teammates, but has become a ritual for Wayne. Pull a bath with ice and a little bit of water, but mostly ice. And that's when you just have to sit in there. Ice will be about your waist height. And you'll sit in there about three to five minutes. It just helps you recover quicker. And I like it. And anything that makes you recover, it's good for me. Another thing that's good for Wayne's game has been the opportunity of working with former Bafana Bafana coach Pizzo Jingles Musimani. I think Coach Pizzo is a good coach. He's always got soccer on his brains and always he makes the players think about the, their game a lot and also about the opponents as well. So I think if you analyse the games and he lets you analyse the games and talk about it, you can always improve your game and I think he's a good coach. Wayne and his fellow teammates have similar aspirations for the remainder of the season, an MTN birth and Bafana glory. Yeah, firstly, um, seeing as I'm here at Sundowns now, my goal now is to be in the top eight and also to win some silverware with the club. Because obviously I've been in the PSL for quite a few seasons and I haven't won anything yet. And my aim is to win something with Sundowns and also for myself as well to Get recognized, maybe a final, final coach. Because I am knocking on the door, and hopefully, he opens one for me.